Are you looking for the perfect help in your journey to learn English? Choosing a great dictionary will put you on the right path to learn new words. As an English teacher over 25 years, I believe that this dictionary deserves to be your lifelong friend that will help you supercharge your learning. Keep watching and I will introduce you to my faithful companion. Hi, my name is Miriam Kennedy, the founder of YesIcanLearnEnglish.com, where I help you learn English faster. Please click subscribe below so you can get all my tips and tools. Also, click the bell so I can let you know when I have a new video available. Welcome! I'm excited to share with you a dictionary that will help you improve your vocabulary skills in English. As English learners, we need a reliable dictionary. One that I have been using for a long time is Merriam-Webster Dictionary. I use it on my computer and I also have an app for it on my smartphone. I would love to tell you a little bit about this amazing dictionary. Let me first tell you that it's an American English dictionary, so it has American English pronunciations for words. When you go to merriamwebster.com, you get a page with an empty box where you type to search for a word. You will notice that underneath the box, there are two tabs for the dictionary and the thesaurus. If all you need is a definition, use the dictionary tab. If you're looking for synonyms of a word, switch it to the thesaurus tab. By the way, one disadvantage of this online version is that it has ads, even when you get an account. Getting an account will let you save the words you have looked up for later reference, but it's not going to get rid of the ads. Now let me show you the entire front page and then I will talk about the tabs for the whole website. The first thing you see is a slider with different topics. You can click on them to go to a separate page to see the information about that topic. When you scroll up, you see the section Trending Now. These are the words that people have been searching for recently. Then you will see the word of the day. You can click on to see the definition and the examples about the word of the day. And if you want, you can get a daily email with the word of the day sent to you. I have subscribed to it and I really like seeing a new word in my inbox every day. Underneath the word of the day, you will see that there's a podcast that you can listen to about this word. Continue scrolling up and you will see several videos about different words. You can watch these videos with the captions on so you can read and listen at the same time. The next section is word games. You can pick a word game here or I will show you later that you can go to games straight from the tabs on the top of the page. The next section is the editor's picks. These are also videos that you may watch. As I said earlier, Merriam-Webster has apps for smartphones too. Let me now walk you through the tabs that we have on top of the page. The first one is games. Clicking on this tab will take you to the games page where there are a lot more games than on the first page. The second tab is called Browse Thesaurus. You can look for words beginning with a certain letter. The third tab is the word of the day. You see there is a definition and examples in addition to a podcast that you can listen to, which gives more information about the word of the day. Today's word is ombudsman, also pronounced ombudsman and spelled O-M-B-U-D-S-M-A-N. The last tab is Words at Play. Clicking on this will take you to a page where it gives information about different words. When you scroll up, you will see that there is a usage and grammar section, which I think is pretty useful. The last part of the page is commonly confused words. 
This is really important for not only us language learners, but also the native speakers of English. Now let's search for a word in the dictionary. I will pick the word fidelity. Fidelity is a noun. If I press the speaker button, I will hear how it is pronounced in American English. This entry also gives me several definitions of fidelity. Following the definition, you will see more information such as the synonyms and antonyms and choosing the right synonym, etc. If you scroll up, this information is laid out on the page. Almost halfway down the page, you will see that there is a podcast about fidelity that I can listen to. Today's word is fidelity, spelled F-I-D-E-L-I-T-Y. Fidelity is a noun that means the quality or state of being faithful. And here I have another chance to sign up to get the word of the day to my inbox daily. So, which dictionary have you been using? Take a moment and let me know in the comments. I will continue scrolling up to show you a great part of Miriam Webster. It actually has an English language learner's dictionary. You can either look at the definition of fidelity here, or you can click on the link to go to the English language dictionary's own website. When I click on the link, I get the definition of fidelity with its pronunciation. The definition here is simpler than in the Merriam-Webster dictionary because it is specifically designed for English language learners. Now I will talk about the tabs on top of the page in the learner's dictionary. The first one is Ask the Editor. This is a page where people ask questions about words and the editors answer them. The next tab is Word of the Day. We also get the pronunciation and definition and sometimes a picture of the word if it is available. The next tab is Quizzes. Let me show you an example. First, you will click on the vocabulary quiz link. On the next window, click on Take the Quiz button. You will get a question with four options. These are timed quizzes, so you need to answer as fast as you can because your score depends on whether you get the question right and how fast you have answered it. The next tab is Core Vocabulary. When you click on this, you will see a list of featured topics. You can pick a word list, for example, words for emotions. The next page gives you a list of words that you can use to describe emotions. If you click on a certain word, you will get the definition of that word. The next tab is most popular words. If you want to find out about most commonly used or searched for words in the past 24 hours, past seven days, or all time. Again, if you want to be able to save your words, you will need an account, which is free. The learner's dictionary is also available for smartphones for $4.99. It will be the best $5 you have ever spent. In this day and age, I strongly recommend that you have a digital dictionary. And the dictionary that I'm recommending you is Merriam-Webster's. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up below. Share it with a friend. Follow me on social media. If you are really interested in improving your English, don't forget to get your free guide, Tips and Tools to Learn English Faster, where I give you all the things you need to help you reach your goals. I put the link below. Make sure to click on the link to get your free guide. And if this video was helpful to you, be sure to hit the subscribe button to get more tips and tools to learn English faster. Or you can watch my next video. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye.